Hi everyone, this is Steve Krause from Patagra, and today we are going to go over lenticular flip creation with Dropout GS. As you can see, we've already loaded a model. I just happened to find this picture up on the internet. We've selected our background images uh, for this lenticular. Let me show you how that's done. We're going to click on settings, as you saw me do here. And the bottom two here are two pictures which I created. One is a beach without any subject image being placed within it. And the other one is pretty much the same beach. However, this one has a gray box. Now, with Dropout GS, that means that is where your subject image is going to be placed. Within our Setup Products tab here, you're going to see that I set up a 5x7. I have both AccuPrint and PhotoFlip checked. This enables us to accurately print uh, flip images. AccuPrint is also used for other things. Now, in order to create a lenticular flip within Dropout GS, we need to first click on a background. That's going to load it into our film strip on the left-hand side. And also click on the second background. I'm only going to use two images here for the flip. And within our cart, as I had designated a 5x7 to be a lenticular product, I'm going to select that from the shopping cart and add it. When that comes up, we are going to be presented with a dialog, which is going to contain two of the backgrounds. I simply select both. Click Add, and boom, there it is. It's added into the cart. And as you can see from our wonderful simulated uh, image here, this is what a lenticular flip will look like. This is actually based off of an output from our product, but I did animate this so that you can see the effect. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you learned a little bit about lenticular flip animation with Dropout GS.